everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara's Never Seen on a new couch. I have large giant freckles that are extremely fake on in honor of the weird earthling elf princess woman troll in a disguise character in the beginning of the film. They're like literal globs of brown makeup on her face. Why add them if you're not gonna attempt at all to make them look good? What? Uh huh? I had heard before that this is like the holy grail of bad movies that are fun. It's very similar to The Room. Thank you for contributing, Ike. Oh my god! Yeah. write down everything I wanted to write down because there were so many lines I wanted to quote and so many things that I wanted to bring up. I'm sure it's all been done before. I've been told that a lot of people review this and this is like the thing that you talk about as a movie reviewer, but I'm not a movie reviewer. I'm just a tipsy girl on a couch. It opens on a scene with Joshua, our hero of the story, and his grandfather reading to him. Very nice. Then you get really close up mouth shots of the grandpa reading the book. It's not, not as nice. <laughs> so he's reading this story about goblins and everything is a goblin in this? Are trolls and goblins the same thing? I seriously don't know, but they're all called goblins in this movie and it's called Troll 2. So maybe it's like Troll 2, Attack of the Goblins. I don't know. Then I wrote, lol, Grandpa Seth is dead? Yes, I love this. Yes, Joshua's sister lifts weights like a badass, yes. Then the next note is, oh my God, she is the worst actor I've ever seen, ever, ever. It will be wonderful, Elliot. My father hates you. I'll tell my father you're coming on vacation with us. I can't even do it. I can't even do the like, level of shit acting that she is. <sighs> Elliot is her boyfriend that her family doesn't like, and I know it was a different time, but I will never be comfortable with homophobic statements that were said in 80s movies all the time. But also, kicking a guy in the nuts doesn't make him a homo. Everyone knows that, right? Except for Elliot. So Elliot's like, yeah, I'll show up in the morning, I'll go on vacation with you. And then he doesn't show up in the morning and he doesn't go on vacation. And the, the daughter and the dad are fighting and they're so bad. And the mom is like, stop fighting before my vacation. Joshua, sing. Joshua's like, I don't wanna sing, mom, I don't want to. And she's like, sing that song I like. And you're like, what song is it gonna be? And it's row, row, row your boat. What the It's got the perfect, like, pop sound, but it also, it just tears at your heartstrings. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. They go on vacation, and it's like a vacation swap situation. Like, they stay in someone else's home, and then somebody else stays in their home. They show up to the house, and the family, who are obviously trolls, have left out this food. And the grandpa appears to Joshua, and it's like, don't eat that food, don't let them eat that food. And then he freezes the family, and Joshua's supposed to go take care of the food situation. He's like, what do I do? How do I stop my parents from eating this food? And he pees on it. He pees on all the food. There's so many other options he could have. He could have made. He could have done anything else, anything. And he chose to pee on it. And I respect that, Joshua. I respect it. I won't allow you to pee on hospitality. I won't. Then you meet the actual worst actress I've ever seen. This is my house. My ancestors came from Stonehead. I am a 28-year-old actress who just has terrible makeup on. Ooh. Then you get the great, the greatest line in the film, which is, "Oh my God!" <laughs> you can't even like really explain this film. So I'm trying to go in order here, but I mean, if you haven't seen it, you just gotta see it because it's so much fun. The next scene is is the sister, and she's like dancing in the mirror. She does the uh, the the eyeglasses. Like, while dancing. That's not a move, is it? And then she sees her grandpa. So Joshua goes into her room later and he's like, Grandpa, Grandpa, are you here? And the grandpa's like, yeah, what happened? Joshua's like, you went to the wrong room, Grandpa. 
so this is gonna, the ghost is like, well, I still have to figure out the layout of this place, Joshua. It's so stupid. Then you see Arnold. What the f He's a tree now? Why? Oh, I guess it's a cool idea to make him into a tree, even though it makes no sense with the story, uh, or um, unless I missed it, but like, it doesn't make sense in the story to why he's a tree. It's supposed to look super sweet, but like all the vines that they use are plastic vines that you get at the dollar store. Why are you using plastic vines when you're gonna go super close in on it? It looks stupid. Then out of nowhere, the sister punches her boyfriend, Elliot, straight in the face because he has friends. So that's cool. Countess, what is her name? Credence, Credence is like, I need all of my powers, give me all of my old powers, and her hand grows back, and then it's revealed that she's young, and it's like, it gave her life back or something. It's like, we all knew. <laughs> she just had terrible makeup on, we knew. I've never seen someone seduce with corn before. And I still haven't. Troll 2, the most awkward and long sex scene with corn that you'll ever see. Thumbs upping a lot. So the trolls, the goblins, they're all trying to get the family at this point, and they hold a seance for Grandpa Seth to come back, you know, as families do. Joshua just yells out, Grandpa Seth, come! It's not funny, I don't know why I'm laughing. So Joshua pretty much destroys all of the goblins by eating a bologna sandwich, and they start yelling, think of the fats, think of the cholesterol. And you couldn't have written anything better than that. You couldn't have, if, okay. Okay, okay. Joshua defeats the goblins, they go home, and the goblins aren't defeated somehow? Somehow, they're still around, and they eat, they eat Joshua's mom. And I wrote down, listen, wrap this up, we don't care. <laughs> but then that's the end, they just end it on his mother being eaten by goblins. <laughs> the perfect ending to a perfect film. Prediction, you'll be saying, Oh my god, for months afterwards. I say oh my god a lot already, so I'll just add a couple extra odds to it. Oh, there's a lot of people who are saying oh my god <laughs> as a prediction. Eating popcorn will never feel the same way. does taste a bit green. I predict you'll be disgusted that the kid chose to pee on the food instead of just tossing it in the garbage. Yes, loved it. I'll pre I predict you'll laugh at the, they're eating her and then they're gonna eat me scene. Yes, loved it. I predict a cameo from Ike the Cat. Got it. I predict you'll do a million hair flips. What did you think of the movie? Never again will you allow someone to piss on hospitality. Never again. I vow from this moment on, Ike, I'm looking at you. You will feel compelled to eat an ear of corn with your favorite gentleman caller. Ike, again, looking at you. Something is so creepy about the mother character. Can never tell if it's just her or the direction. I get that feeling about all the characters. I think the mother, the, the creepy part about her is that her eyes never feel like they're focused on anything. It's like a soft gaze. In in very extreme moments, when she's like yelling Joshua to save his life, like, maybe pick a spot to look at. <laughs> it's just weird. You will love Credence, objectively the best character in the movie. She was my favorite and my least favorite character, all, all in one. Next Friday is December 1st, and I think I might start it off with the Star Wars Christmas special, maybe? It's pretty much the only Star Wars content I haven't seen. Though on my personal channel, I do have a series called Tamara Has Seen, uh, where I explain the plot of Star Wars to everyone in a very accurate manner. Super, super accurate. Very real, very serious. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all next week with the start of December. Can't wait. Oh my God.